When people think about beautiful operating systems, macOS is often the first name that comes to mind. For years, Apple has marketed macOS as the gold standard of desktop aesthetics, with its smooth animations, polished transparency effects, clean typography, and cohesive visual language. But here we are in 2025, and something interesting has happened quietly in the background. Linux distributions have not only caught up in terms of visual appeal, but in many cases, they have surpassed Mac OS in flexibility, elegance, and sheer visual impact. Today, Linux is no longer just for developers staring at terminals or system administrators managing servers. It has evolved into a platform where design, animation, and user experience are taken seriously, often without the restrictions imposed by proprietary ecosystems. In this video, we're diving deep into Linux distributions that genuinely look better than Mac OS, not just in screenshots, but in real daily use, offering stunning alternatives that feel modern, fluid, and uniquely personal. One of the biggest reasons Linux desktops have become so visually impressive is freedom. Mac OS has a fixed design philosophy controlled entirely by Apple. You get what Apple wants you to get. Customization is limited to wallpapers, accent colors, and a few toggles. Linux, on the other hand, lets designers, developers, and users reshape every pixel of the desktop. This has led to a creative explosion in desktop environments, themes, window managers, and animation engines. In 2025, this freedom has matured into refined, cohesive experiences that no longer feel experimental or rough around the edges. They feel intentional, premium, and thoughtfully crafted. Take KDE Plasma as an example, which powers several Linux distributions that rival and often outshine Mac OS visually. KDE Plasma in 2025 is sleek, glassy, and incredibly smooth. The desktop can feature blurred transparency effects that feel just as refined as Mac OS, if not more so because they are adjustable in real time. Animations are hardware accelerated, consistent, and responsive even on modest machines. Window transitions glide instead of snapping. Panels fade elegantly. Widgets blend seamlessly into the desktop instead of looking like a Don's. What makes KDE stand out is that this polish doesn't come at the cost of control. You can make it minimal like Mac OS, futuristic like a sci-fi interface, or warm and organic depending on your taste. Mac OS offers one vision. KDE offers infinite visions, all of them capable of looking premium. Then there's the rise of Linux distributions that prioritize design from the very first boot. These are not just technical projects anymore. They are design-driven operating systems. In 2025, distros like these feel curated, not cobbled together. Fonts are carefully chosen. Icons follow a consistent visual language. System sounds are subtle and modern instead of retro or distracting. Even the installer animations feel smooth and deliberate. This level of attention to detail is something macOS users are familiar with, but seeing it on Linux still surprises people who haven't tried it recently. GNOME-based distributions deserve special attention here. GNOME has evolved into one of the most elegant desktop environments available today. Its philosophy is very different from macOS, yet the end result can feel just as refined. In 2025, GNOME embraces simplicity, clean lines, and distraction-free workflows. The overview mode, where windows smoothly zoom out into an organized workspace, feels cinematic. Animations are slow enough to feel elegant, but fast enough to stay responsive. The interface uses spacing and typography in a way that feels modern and calm. On a high-resolution display, GNOME looks absolutely stunning, often more so than Mac OS, because it avoids visual clutter. There are no unnecessary borders, shadows, or legacy UI elements lingering around. Oh. Everything feels intentional. What makes GNOME-powered Linux distros especially attractive compared to macOS is consistency across apps. In recent years, Linux developers have embraced modern UI toolkits, and by 2025, many native Linux apps look cohesive, minimal, and beautiful. Buttons align perfectly. Color schemes adapt seamlessly to light and dark modes. Animations feel native rather than bolted on. MOS still struggles with consistency between system apps and third-party apps especially with electron-based software. On Linux, particularly in GNOME ecosystems, the experience can feel more unified than Apple's own platform. Another reason Linux desktops look better than macOS in 2025 is how well they handle modern displays. 
High refresh rate monitors, ultra-wide screens, and multi-monitor setups are increasingly common, and Linux has made massive strides here. Many Linux desktops now handle fractional scaling, per-monitor scaling, and variable refresh rates more gracefully than macOS. Animations remain smooth even at 144 Hz or higher. Windows snapping and tiling feel fluid and visually pleasing, especially in tiling-capable environments. macOS still feels strangely restrictive in this area, while Linux feels liberated and visually adaptive. Minimalist Linux distributions have also gained popularity, offering beauty through simplicity rather than visual effects. These systems strip away unnecessary UI elements and focus on clean typography, perfect spacing, and subtle motion. The result is a desktop that feels calm, focused, and sophisticated. In comparison, macOS can sometimes feel visually busy. With menu bars, docs, notifications, and background services all competing for attention, Linux minimal setups feel intentional, like a carefully designed workspace rather than a general purpose consumer OS. In 2025, window managers and hybrid desktops are another area where Linux surpasses Mac OS visually. These environments blur the line between traditional desktops and fully dynamic layouts. Windows animate smoothly into place. Workspaces shift with fluid transitions. Everything feels responsive and alive. While macOS still relies on static window management with limited animations, Linux window managers offer cinematic transitions that feel futuristic without being gimmicky. For creators, developers, and power users, this not only looks better but also feels better to use. Color accuracy and theming are also areas where Linux shines. macOS locks users into Apple's color profiles and visual styles. Linux, by contrast, allows deep customization of color schemes, gamma contrast, and UI accents. Designers can fine-tune their desktops to match their creative workflows. Dark modes on Linux often look deeper and more refined, avoiding the washed-out grays that macOS sometimes uses. Light modes can feel airy and modern without being blinding. The result is a desktop that feels visually comfortable for long sessions, something that matters more than flashy effects. One of the most underrated visual advantages of Linux in 2025 is performance. A beautiful interface is only beautiful if it feels smooth. Mac OS has become heavier over the years, especially on older or known to pull silicon hardware. Linux desktops, even visually rich ones, can remain buttery smooth on a wide range of machines. Animations don't stutter, and windows don't lag. Transparency effects don't feel like they're straining the system. This smoothness enhances the perception of beauty. A simple animation that runs perfectly feels better than a complex one that drops frames. Let's also talk about icons, because icons are one of the most noticeable parts of any desktop. Linux icon themes in 2025 are on another level. Designers have created icon sets that rival and sometimes surpass Apple's own icons in clarity, consistency, and personality. You can choose between ultra-minimal flat icons, detailed semi-skeuomorphic designs, or futuristic neon styles. Mac OS locks you into one icon style unless you start hacking system files. Linux treats icons as a core part of personalization and the results can be breathtaking. Typography is another area where Linux desktops quietly outperform Mac OS. In the past, Linux struggled with font rendering, but those days are long gone. Modern Linux distributions offer crisp, beautiful text rendering with excellent hinting and anti aliasing You can choose fonts that match your aesthetic, whether that's something clean and modern or something more expressive. Mac OS still has excellent typography, but Linux now matches it and goes beyond by allowing full control without hacks. The login screen and lock screen experience is another place where Linux shines in. 2025, many Linux distros now feature animated, the meable login screens that feel modern and premium. Subtle motion, clean layouts, and beautiful background blur effects make even the act of logging in feel polished. Mac OS's login screen while clean hasn't changed much in years. Linux feels fresher, more alive, and more customizable. Even the small details matter, and Linux desktops are full of them. Notification pop-ups slide in gently instead of jumping onto the screen. System menus animate smoothly. Context menus fade in with soft shadows. These micro-interactions add up to an experience that feels thoughtfully designed. Mac OS has these details too but Linux now matches and sometimes exceeds Apple's attention to micro-animations 
especially in environments that focus heavily on UX design. Another major advantage Linux has over macOS visually is adaptability. macOS looks great on Apple hardware because it's designed specifically for it. Linux looks great everywhere. Whether you're on a laptop, a desktop, an ultra-wide monitor, or even a touchscreen device, Linux can adapt its interface gracefully. In 2025, touch-friendly Linux desktops are surprisingly polished, with gestures, animations, and spacing designed to work seamlessly across input methods. macOS still feels awkward on touch devices, largely because Apple refuses to fully embrace touch on Macs. Linux also allows users to experiment with cutting-edge visual technologies sooner. Wayland, modern compositors, and advanced animation engines are being actively developed and deployed across Linux desktops. This means Linux users often experience new visual features before they reach mainstream operating systems. Mac OS, being conservative by design, adopts changes slowly. Linux feels like a living, evolving platform where visual innovation happens constantly. For content creators, Linux desktops in 2025 offer visually stunning workspaces that feel inspiring rather than restrictive. You can design a desktop that matches your creative identity, whether that's minimalist, vibrant, or cinematic. Mac OS offers a polished but fixed environment. Linux offers a canvas. This difference becomes more apparent the longer you use it. Over time, a Linux desktop feels like it belongs to you, not to a corporation. There's also something to be said about how Linux desktops age visually. Mac OS tends to go through dramatic design shifts every few years, sometimes breaking consistency or making older apps look outdated overnight. Linux desktops evolve more organically. You can update components gradually, keeping what you love and changing what you don't. This results in a desktop that feels timeless rather than trendy. In 2025, the idea that Linux is ugly or clunky is completely outdated. The truth is that many Linux distributions now look better than Mac OS, not because they copy it, but because they surpass it in flexibility, smoothness, and user-focused design. They respect your hardware, your workflow, and your aesthetic preferences. They don't force you into a single visual identity. They empower you to create your own. What's most exciting is that this visual evolution of Linux shows no signs of slowing down. Designers and developers are pushing boundaries, experimenting with new layouts, animations, and interaction models. Linux desktops are no longer chasing Mac OS or Windows. They are charting their own path, and in many cases, leading the way. So if you've ever admired the look of Mac OS but felt frustrated by its limitations, Linux in 2025 offers something genuinely compelling. It offers beauty without control, elegance without restriction, and performance without compromise. These stunning Linux distributions prove that open source software can be just as visually refined as proprietary platforms, if not more so. And the best part is that you don't have to choose between beauty and freedom anymore. On Linux, you get both.